there pixies! It's that time again where we reveal what is inside of August's Geek Gear Wizardry box. So, I won't talk too much. If you want to subscribe for more Harry Potter videos, you're welcome to. And if not, that's totally fine as well. We're just gonna get into this box because it has been sitting here in my room for a week, almost, waiting for me to unbox it for you. So, let's go. So here is the Geek Gear box for this August. And we're gonna open it up, see what's inside. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Oh my goodness, ooh. Okay, I see clothing straight away. Okay, first of all, we're gonna go with this first. Wizardry socks. Shall we open them up and see what they're like? Geek Gear Wizardry socks. They have real Ravenclaw colors on them, so good job, Geek Gear. I'm actually sweating, guys. Um, it's not fun. It's really hot today. But anyway, let's have a look at these socks. Are they just stripy socks, I think? Oh, Wisdom. Whoa, they're knee highs, I think. These are some very long socks for some very long legs. I like that it says Wisdom, though. Wisdom. Does it have anything? No, nope, just Wisdom. Well, that's all you need in life, really, isn't it? I don't know when I'd wear them. I'd have to have a cute outfit to wear them with. It's not really bronze, it's more brown, but it's closer to the real Ravenclaw colors than the films are. So I'll give them some kudos for that. Thank you very much, Geek Gear. Very nice. Okay, what do we have next? I see tea, Cornish. Pixies, this is for you, okay? They know I exist. They know I exist and I'm flattered. This is for you, Pixies. Let's see what's in this. Um, we've got apple pieces, rose chip peel, citrus peel, hibiscus, butterfly pea flower, lemongrass, lemon balm, blackberry leaves, <laughs> Blueberries, cornflower, mallow blossoms. Wow, this is a lot of stuff in it. I don't even know what half of them are, to be perfectly honest with you. But of course, I'll try this tea, because it's Cornish pixie tea. I want to see if it smells nice. Hang on, give me a second. Let's smell it. Oh, that smells absolutely marvellous. That smells so good. Mmm, I want to try that. That smells so sweet. Lovely. Cornish pixie tea. Right up my street. Okay, what do we have next? What, what do I see here? It's got Harry on it. Oh, can I get it out? I think it's a mug. Oh, okay, okay. Um, slight problem here. I already have this mug. I got it at DragCon in a mystery box, but I do love it, so maybe my mum can have it. She can have one and I can have one. Or else I might do a giveaway. This is the new Gringotts Bank Golden Mug. Uh, let me get it out of the box for you guys to see properly. This is the Golden Gringotts Mug. It's lovely and golden. <laughs> it says Gringotts on one side. It actually it says Gringotts on both sides. And it has the Gringotts logo with some snazzy patterns and goblin faces and and stuff and a dragon two dragons that look like chinese dragons actually so that's really cool i do have this already but uh, you know one can never have too many golden cups okay we've got more swirly whirlies here oh i see i see a wand i see a wand i didn't actually expect a wand in this one but cool this will be my last wand, actually. I've, I'm going to stop subscribing to the wand simply because I found my particular wand that I love, which is right up here. And I just, I don't want to keep collecting wands, but I will definitely keep collecting the subscription boxes. Nothing against the wands, they're absolutely beautifully made. Uh, ooh, is the box a bit different? The box, this one a bit differently. I don't, literally don't even know how to open this. Ooh, oh, uh, ooh. Ooh, oh, oh. <laughs> well, uh, it looks a very dark magic-y. Let's have a look. 
properly. Wow. Oh. I'm not really a fan of skulls and things, but you know, I do like Voldemort's wand. This is this is interesting. It's an interesting little skull. I like the detailing on the wand itself, the the shaft of the wand. Um but I'm just not a fan of the, the skull. It's not creepy at all, but it's just not my thing. Not my favorite. It's very lightweight as well. I just feel a bit too lightweight maybe. Uh, but it's it's cool if you like that kind of thing. I wanna see if there's anything in there telling you what it's supposed to be, you know, the core and the wood and everything. So just hang on one moment. It doesn't look like it. I may found it, find it at the bottom of the box, but for now, there is nothing to state the uh, wand core, wand wood, or anything. They're usually 13 and a half inches. Like, every single wand I've seen has been 13 and a half inches, so that's one thing I do know. I don't like this new box either. I'd rather the other boxes that they have. Um, it just feels a bit flimsy, I don't know. I don't even know how to get it back in. Um, yeah, I'm not feeling the box at all. See, I can't, I can't, can't get it back in. Yeah, it's fine. It's it's okay. It's it's okay. There seems to be a lot in this box. Uh, oh, we've got a poster. I want to be really. Wow, this looks really cool. From what I can see, from what I can see, it's blue. And blue is my favourite colour, so I think I'm going to like this no matter what. Let's see what's inside it. Let's, let's see. Okay, let's open this up. Oh, wow. Oh! Oh my word, this is so sweet. Oh, this is lovely. This is so lovely. Oh my word. Wait, wait. Y'all need to see this. Can you see that? It's Hedwig and a broomstick. Isn't it beautiful? I love it. I love it. Very good. Let's see what else is in this box. Not too much left, I don't think, but who knows. Okay, what else do we have in here? There's, oh, I found, I found the uh, Geek Gear wand. It's an Osseus wand. It's 13 and a half inches, white river monster spine. Oh, so it's an American made wand. That's why it's a little, um, you know, voodoo-y. I, I don't know, like New Orleans. I'm pretty sure that the wand maker that was from New Orleans had the river monster spine. Yeah. And it's ebony and bone. Yes, very New Orleans. Uh, I like that they're using the American wand inspiration now that's cool okay i see a top a top with swirly whirlies all over it <laughs> don't want to have swirly whirlies on it let's have a look at this top <sighs> okay um uh it looks like this top has grindelwald on it can you see this? How far back can I go? Um, yeah, it's got Grindelwald on it. And it's got uh, Paris, some skulls, oh like the skull prophecy, the ring, the snake, uh, Yanagini, the ring, Paris, skulls. It's not really my thing, it's very dark and gloomy and bleh, but Whoever likes this kind of thing, it'll be great for them. I will literally never wear this, but I like the design. It's cool. It's all right. It's I. <laughs> it's I. Oh my gosh, what am I doing? This is Harry. On the battlefield, well, on the battleground of Hogwarts. I'm sorry, I'm very, very hot today. <laughs> it's really hot. Anyway. Um, so yeah, you've got Harry, there's Voldy, and it's, uh, he's trying to avoid a cadaver him, and Harry's like, no, Expelliarmus, I'm going to kill you without even doing anything to you, except disarming you. 
uh, yeah, it's quite nice. It's quite nice. I like how messy Harry's hair is, just saying. Yeah, I can appreciate that. Okay, let's see if I've won anything on this scratch card. The most likely answer is no. <laughs> no, what a shocker. Didn't win anything. Oh well. And now to the cheat sheet. Okay, so we've got August 2019 exclusive Beasts t-shirt. I mean, I'd say it's a Grindelwald t-shirt, but yeah, Beasts is cool too. Licensed and exclusive Harry Potter Voldemort print. Licensed by Warner Brothers. Designed by Pyramid Entertainment. I've seen their name come up quite a bit. It was a nice print. Exclusive unique wand. Licensed Gringotts foil mug. Is it foil? It isn't, it's not, okay, it's foil, cool. Um, exclusive house socks. I'd love to know what the other pairs look like and what they have on them. Exclusive monthly Cornish Pixie tea. Oh, Cornish Pixie. Um, next month's hint. A unicorn. Ooh, how mysterious. Good magic. We've had dark magic a bit in this one. So good magic seems like it would make sense for a unicorn and we have laura martin as the youtube spotlight hello laura i will check out your channel beautiful makeup by the way <laughs> so overall it was a pretty good box it wasn't like my favorite and most of it wasn't that memorable i love the cornish pixie tea though just saying um yeah i did enjoy the box just not as much as usual and I did have one of the items already so that was a shame but it was okay it was it was an okay box onwards and upwards that's all for this video if you did like this please make sure to give it a big thumbs up subscribe for more Harry Potter videos and share around if you want to and I will see you next time pixies